Hello, dear friends, and welcome to our English class. I hope you are fine today and ready to learn something new. But first of all, answer my question. Do you often tell your friends or relatives about your achievements? I think you do. Because every day you learn to do something new. Today we will learn how to say it in English. So, we will learn how to use the verb can. Our topic is the verb can. Today at the lesson we are going to learn how to form affirmative, negative sentences and questions with can. You will learn some new phrases. Also, we will read the text about famous Kyrgyz sportsman and writer Emir Sultan Khanov. We will do some exercises. Let's begin. First of all, let's meet the verb can. I hope you will be friends because can is very popular in English. And when do we need its help? We use can when we want to say that someone is able to do something. Do you remember I asked you if you often tell your friends and relatives about your achievements? Now you may say it in English. Listen and repeat. I can swim. I can jump high. I can sing. I can dance. What else will you tell your friends about yourself? Let's try together. Repeat after me. I can play the piano. I can speak English. Let's try to use can with other pronouns. Listen and repeat. You can skip. He can play football. She can play volleyball. We can play chess. As you can see, the form of can is the same for all persons. I, you, he, she, we, they. I can run, he can run, she can run, we can run. And if you want to say that you don't know how to do something, you have to use negative form of the verb can. I cannot, or we can use the short form, can't. I will tell you as a secret, of course, what I can't do. And you repeat after me. I can't fly. I can't walk from Moscow to London. Well, answer my questions and then I'll try to guess your answers. Can you skip without skipping rope? I can't skip without a rope. Can you play football without a ball? I can't play football without a ball. By the way, did you notice how I asked you these questions? Let's try together. Can you play football? Can you jump high? Can you fly like a bird? Where is the verb can in these questions? You are right. It's before the subject. Can, I, he, she, it, we, you, they do something? Let's try more. Can you swim? Can you ride a bike? Can you play tennis? For these questions, you can answer in a short way, yes or no. Can you swim? 
Yes, I can. Can I go speak French? No, she can't. To give positive short answer, use yes plus pronoun plus can. To give negative short answer, use no, I, he, she, it, we, you, they, can't. Let's try more examples. Can he run fast? Yes, he can. Can they play badminton? No, they can't. So we have already learned how to tell your friends what you can or can't do. And you can also ask them about it. And I want you to remember two important moments. First, we don't use to after the verb can. For example, I can play tennis, not I can to play tennis. I gul can speak English. Not I gul can to speak English. And the second, we always use the base form of the verb after can. She can swim. Not she can swims. He can play tennis. Not he can plays. And now you should complete the rule and write it into your copybooks. So please open your copybooks. Use can or can't in the gaps. Let's check. In positive sentences, with all pronouns, we use can and base form of the verb. In negative sentences, we use can't with all pronouns and base form of the verb. In positive short answers, we should use yes plus pronoun plus can. In negative short answers, we should use no plus pronoun plus can't. Great job! And now I'd like you to practice. Complete the sentences. Use can or can't and the verbs below. Do, play, dance, drive, speak. You have only 40 seconds to complete these sentences. Your time is up. Let's check your answers. Aigul can speak English, but she can't speak French. I never go to nightclubs because I can't dance. Dinara is only four years old, but she can play the piano. David can't drive a car, but he wants to learn. It isn't late. It's only 8 o'clock. 
You can do your homework now. Well done, guys. Are you tired? It's time to have a rest. Let's watch the video and do some exercises. I can run, I can run, I can run and run, and I'm having lots of fun. I can run, I can run, can you? I can jump, I can jump, I can jump and run, and I'm having lots of fun. I can jump, I can jump, can you? I can swim, I can swim. I can swim and run, and I'm having lots of fun. I can swim, I can swim, can you? I can hop, I can hop, I can hop and run, and I'm having lots of fun. I can hop, I can hop, can you? I can skip, I can skip, I can skip and run, and I'm having lots of fun. I can skip. I can skip, can you? Are you ready to continue? Now we are going to listen and read the text about great Kyrgyz sportsman and writer Emir Sultankanov. But before reading the text, let's learn some new phrases from this text. Look at the screen. Listen, read, and repeat. Ride a horse. Write a book. Take part in competitions. Speak English. A professional horse racer. Be good at athletics. Repeat one more time. Ride a horse. Write a book. Take part in competitions. Speak English. A professional horse racer. Be good at athletics. Hope you remembered all these phrases and will use them in your speech. You should listen and read the text. Try to find out what Emir Sultankanov can and can't do. A great Kyrgyz sportsman and writer. Emir Sultankanov is one of the organizers of the World Nomad Games in Kyrgyzstan. He is 35 years old. He's married and he's got three sons. Emir is a horse racer. He's got 88 prizes from horse racing competitions. His favorite horse is Akula. Emir rides Akula very fast. He takes part in a lot of competitions. But Emir isn't only a professional horse racer. He can do other things too. He writes books about Kyrgyz national sports such as At Chabish, Kizkulmai, Ulak Tartish, Odarsh, and Roskorol. He writes some of his books in English because he can speak it very well. He wants to make Kyrgyz national games popular in other countries. What else can he do? Emir is good at athletics. He runs very fast because he trains a lot every day. He says athletics and horse racing are the same. You need to come first to the finish line. But he can't do karate and he can't play tennis. He wants to learn to do these sports one day. Have you understood the text? Great! Now look at the text again and answer my questions. How old is Emir Sultankanov? How many children has he got? What does he write about? What sports does he want to do?
Let's check your answers. He is 35 years old. He has got three children. He writes about Kyrgyz national games. He wants to do karate and play tennis. Now please complete the sentences with can or can't using information from the text about the Mir Sultan Khanov. You have only 15 seconds. Let's check. He can ride a horse. He can speak English. But he can't do karate. And he can't play tennis. Well, boys and girls, we have almost finished our lesson. And our last task is to write sentences with but about what Maksat can and can't do. Let's help him to tell about his abilities. Look at the pictures. Write sentences with but about what Maksat can and can't do. Look at the pictures. For example, he can play basketball but can't play football. Now it's your turn. Let's check. He can't ride a horse, but he can ride a bike. Let's try the next one. Make. Maksat can make tea, but he can't make coffee. And the last one, speak. Italian and German. Think a little. Let's check. He can speak Italian, but he can't speak German. Well done, guys. Good job. So that's all for today. Now you can say what you can do. Today you have learned how to form affirmative, negative and questions with verb can. Learn some new phrases, read the text about famous Kyrgyz sportsman Emir Sultan Khanov and did some exercises. Well, our lesson is over. Bye-bye.